Right, let's see. Come on, let's go live. Oh, I'm online. Yep. I've not been asked live today. I'm live now. Yay, there goes live. All right. So, hello, good evening, and welcome back to another Stover episode. And yeah, this is from a back to back this morning. And yeah, I've been cranking them out. Uh, not just stay but uh, Titanic and Doll's House and some other bits. So yes, yeah, so welcome back. Where's, where's my chat window gone? My chat window's gone. No, that's not it. There you go. Yeah, there it is. So let's go ahead and right, let's go ahead and see a Jello all in the chat. Jello all. Hey, come on. There we go. Right. Jello. Oh, all right, there we go so there's that and then we're going to stick out our links while we are here and we will get them kicking off is that right yeah so up first we have our discord we have a facebook account so you can join us there and have a chat there's a link there to the uh, five store so you can go ahead and purchase some merchandise we also have our instagram account we have a Twitch account where we are doing all our live streams for the builds and gameplays. We have our Twitter account, so every time we go live, hit that retweet and you get a shout out on here. We also have our family friendly YouTube channel, and we also have our YouTube adult account where this would be a placed on. So there we go. We are running the competition. As soon as we hit 200 Twitch followers, there is a gift card for one of you lucky winners. So, as soon as we get there, we'll spin a wheel, find a lucky winner, and then we'll move on to our next goal. YouTube is a bit funny at the minute because we can't always seem to find out what's going on, and I don't think that's the right number as well. I think it's linked to the wrong account, but it'd be good if we can get them both the same. It'd be really good. So yeah, don't forget to come say hi Spoon in the chat and we'll get things kicking off. Hi Roy, how you doing? Hi Claire, how you doing? Welcome back. You've been here all day as well, cool. I uh, hope oh, you must be coming back all the time, so you're enjoying the uh, content, so thank you very much. So we'll uh, head over to Twitter now and see if we can find who these lucky retweeters are. Come on. Let's be having a whole no. No, that's not it. Come on. Alright, go a long way around, go for the pot profile. And go from there. Alright. It is uh, getting on and I do have a twelve hour shift to do soon. So we'll uh, get this done, I'll have a few hours skip and then go and do a twelve hour shift and be back. So I've got some repair work to do first, but hey ho. It is what it is, right? Let's have a look at the retweets. So, in no particular order, we have Webbit, we have Roy, and we have Claire. Thank you very much, you three, for being the top three retweeters. You do retweet afterwards. Thank you very much, but sadly, you've just missed out. And now it's time to crack on with the next bunch of issues. There may be some people saying, Hey, you're missing the parts. If we go back to the previous stream, you'll notice that we had some issues and it's on order. So it's going to take a couple of weeks to get to us or so. And we'll add that to one of the other ones to then get back to that part. So, yes, so we can get back up to normal. There will be some little tweaks in places and so on. But we'll crack on where we are going from here. So... Three, two, one. Hopefully, everything's all fine. There we go. So you can see a bit of the uh, stay bar in the picture frame there, and we've got our next four issues, which we're going to dive into. So I've done ones down there. They are still sealed, and we're just going to pop them open and dive on in. And that will go for the bin. I've been rearranging a lot of the stuff as well. I've got a lot of bits to crack on with. I've got, yeah, there goes a lot of stuff, so yeah, I've got a lot to deal with and everything else, and we are, okay, so we've got, 
three lots of screws and suspension parts. We'll know where some parts go because it's the same as the previous issue. So we can deal with them ones first and then we'll move on to what's left. Let's quickly open this up. I would have normally used the uh, trusty uh, grown up knife to do it, but it seems like there's an open packet. Fingers crossed we've got everything in it. It looks like from the packet from before. And we'll just see where things go. So that can have a bin as well. Oh, that one's fallen. I'll just put that out of the way there. And that can go there as well. So we have obviously our leaf springs, which are obviously plastic. We have DPO6 screws, which we'll be using on that piece, like we did before. We've got two lots of springs, piston, and shock covers. Um, DD06 screws. So that's going to be interesting to figure out where they go. We have some pins, so obviously, it looks like this would be a connect to the chassis and a DP of one, two screws. Ah. The classic ones. So they must go in them two covers. So I don't think so. Hmm. All right, okay. So we'll uh, have a look, see what's going on. So, yeah. They might even go somewhere else. So, DDO6, we'll come on to that in a minute because that's to hold the shock absorber on. But, we'll bring in the front axle and we'll uh, go for our smaller head screwdriver which is the PH00 we're going to use and we're going to get hold of some DPO6 screws. I've got some out here somewhere. DDO6. Uh, DPO6, there we go. Got some already there. Two, that's fine because we only need another one then. So we'll open this one up and just pinch one out of there. So we are cutting down on our rubbish. I'm still waiting for this um, little box to turn up so I can put all these screws in and then label them up that way. Come on. Why aren't you opening up? Okay, are you open? Are you open? Yep. Yeah. Alright. Just need one. Thank you very much. We'll take that one. And we'll stick them over there. Alright, so. This will go on quite nicely. And we have a little locator. So which one was the locator in? The locator was on the outside. So we'll just mirror it on the other side. So this one here will have the little locator in and then we have the screws in the other ones so as always we'll get one screw and uh, we'll get it by in work it in and out both ways and see how it goes well that's going quite nicely didn't have to work that one that much but we'll uh, move on to the next two screws there's one. Um, I have heard someone was working on their ones. They had it upside down, and they put so much pressure on it, they snapped the leaf springs. So uh, that wasn't good for them because obviously they had to repurchase their ones because they got theirs from the uh, shops and that. So I feel sorry for them. They had to wait for the replacement ones to come in. Uh, yeah. There's supposed to be another one coming to my channel. Another one of these. I've been having chats with a haulage firm. And yes, they... Oh. Sounds not right there. Sounds came loose. So let's look these back out a minute. I know what's going on. Has that worked its way loose? That bracket from the previous one. Oh, 
hopefully it hasn't worked its way loose. Otherwise we'll uh, might be in a bit of bother. Yes it has worked its way loose. I don't know how. Let's grab the uh, screwdriver. Oh, still not smart going to the toilet. Uh, that one's what, DD? Um, let me uh, have a recap of what it was. It was a, a DD04, I think it was. DDA6. Do I have a DDA5? I think that's the next one down. That's supposed to be on the toilet. Um, I've got some other screws here. Might do it. Could do with. I'll try TDO2. That might do it. You know, it's not the right one but it seems to be like a shorter thread which might just about do it just off a off chance right, let's see if that would go in There we go, nice and tight. So we'll save that one. Uh, do I have four in there? I think I'll put it to one side. Um, now we'll, let me keep that there. And I'll deal with that one in a little while. And let's get this uh, back into place. So located there, swing it over, I'll start getting these back into place, All right. let's screw them in nice and gently, right to over tighten them, and we'll try and not break the axle or the leaf springs or anything like that. Right, so yeah, I'm still playing catch up, as you can tell, I'm not quite far behind on the live stream. I was going to it, was it one, two, and then there's one coming out this week. Uh, this week that's coming out is the cab, so there's apparently a big box coming. Right, so that's all attached. So we've got that far. Uh, next up is obviously that's empty, so that can go over this way for the bin. Let me just condense it all a little bit. Put that in there, drop down, put that in there, drop down. And alright, so next we have the DD06. Which will then hold the piston part, the shock absorber piston. I pretty much had one of these out, and I don't think I need to open it. Oh well, get it open anyway. Right. So the DDO6 will hold this one. So that will slide in there, and that gets screwed in there. And again, we'll try and work it in best we can. And once it's in place, it will be good to go. Alright, oh, just try and get a nice decent hold on it. That 
little bit loose still, so we can still adjust it. It's a little bit loose, not as loose as that side, but we can tighten that side up. But we can always adjust it afterwards. I think this one needs uh, tweaking, if I remember rightly, but I haven't had time to do it. So yeah, we'll give that a proper adjustment later, and we'll see how it goes. So the springs go there. Well, pretty sure the springs are supposed to go there, and then that goes in the top there. That sits there like that. Oh, it's got a bit of springs there. So what we might have to do do some slight modifications and adjustments. Put them in place. It looks like it's supposed to have a screw in there, but I don't think it's going to work. So let's bring this in, flick it over, and let's move that there. Right, bring that there a minute. So, what we need to then do. Give ourselves a bit of adjustment so it's holding quite nicely. And that will then go in there. So we need to do some adjustments and modifications. So we'll get this side in first so I can see what I'm doing. Get that in there. And what we'll do next is put this in that side. Ah, that's what's falling out. Like so, it goes somewhere around there. There we go. Oh, there we go. Let's drop that in there, Nick. So that can hold that in place. Don't worry, we'll give it a little slide over in a moment. Put this back in this side. Put that in there. And then we'll just gently adjust the position. No! Where did that come from? I don't know, that's the kingpin from this one. Right. Mm. We'll try pushing it in the other way then, because that seems to be a bit tighter. Crikey. Alright, I'll get to that in a moment. I'm try and sort this bit out. So we've got some pins that we need to put in. And then we'll put that wheel back on. We'll be having all that out so we'll all these out and the pins seem to have a bit of grip one side and then we'll start with this back one so obviously it's the most easiest one for us to get to and see and we'll push it in doesn't want to go any further so hopefully that's going to line up just right the next one I may have to put a bit of glue on this just keep them in place I'm hoping that the actual friction will hold it. Let's do that one. Push that in. Oh, that, no, that's come out. No. Oh, that side's come out as well. Alright. Hmm, how are we going to do this? Let's grab the pliers quickly. Let's give it a gently pull out. Good if they were actually magnetic, but we, then we could just use a magnet to pull them out. No, too far. Mm. Don't want to lose everything. 
if we can help it. Right, those. Get that across. Come on. Come on. There we go. Pull it out a little bit and then we'll try and drop it, drop it back in. We can't lose everything. Ah! That's what I didn't want. All right, let's do this side first then. And then we'll just try and pivot it around. sorted out the pin's falling out now so I've got to try and find that pin pin this side oh it's missed the, missed the hole again cool. not like me missing the hole All right. let's see how this goes Just try and gently get it in. Aha, that's better. That's in. And we'll just give that little nip. Come on. So it's going. Right, let's try a force. Oh, I might have to get my little swan nets out. Do I right, just give it a little rotate round? See if we can spot everything that we're missing. I right, pins around here somewhere. There's the pin. So we'll try and slide this piece in now. So we should be able to do that there, like that. And that side falls out, that's what I thought it would happen. Put that in there like that, and then we'll just drop it into place. Now let's get this rear pin in. Give it all, doesn't fly everywhere, cool. Right, this one. In there. Yeah, that seems to have gone through. Has it gone through? Yeah, that's in the eye of the lead spring. Can't seem to get fully through. Going. Seems to be lined up. Okay. Right. I think I will probably end up using my little swan necks, which I've got to get from the bag, and I'll obviously have to do that off stream because I can't do it on stream. Whereas the bag is in the Back of the garden in the uh, a work shed. All right, come on. In you go. Do one more go. If not, then I will have to swan neck it. Yeah, we'll be swan necked. All right, let's give that little pivot round. Get another pin out and we'll do the front. There we go. Get this front one in. Just 
Okay. So we'll play that way. I was going to say a little play around for it to go in. And it's just gone straight for it. There we go. That's going through. And let's go like that. It should it's almost through properly. Come on. All right, let's go. As you're doing it on the actual trucks itself, it's a lot better, it's less fiddly. And right. Again, it looks like the swan next will come out for that one as well, and most likely be for this one as well. It's just to get that past that last little bit, unless um, it got paired by the microwave. So I was doing some plumbing work the other day. Right, so that one's in there. Uh, grab it. Do you want to see if my swan nicks up by the microwave? So I was doing that tap the other day. Looks like it will be it. Right. That will go with the swan necks. So let's keep that there nicely. So that's there like that, that's like that. So that can now go for the bin. That's not needed. Alright, so now of course you've got this to fix back into place because the kingpin has blown out. And I did have to use swans for that as well. I might have to use a little bit of glue to hold it in place. Yeah, oh, I will put a bit of glue on the end there, just hold it in. And then we have a DP12. I wonder what they're for then. That's all attached, it's too big for them. Um, Yeah, unless flick it over, it is for that part in the top there. It's got to be then. Right, that's that there, that there. So I'm tall enough. Yes, just about tall enough. So that must be for up here, the DP twelves, because. Plastic, so if that's going to something plastic, so it's got to be them. Just hold the tops in. So, we'll place one in that one. Oh, try doing it left handed. I can't really get a good grip on it that way. Let's give it a little rotation around. And we'll just hold it and we'll just get it in place. There we go. That's that side. Seems to be good. And we'll rotate it like that so you can hopefully see for the next one. Using the top of the shock absorber cover. Alright. That comes out. We'll place it in the hole. We'll grab it with our fingers as well. And I don't want to pick it up. Um, and we'll just get that in place like that. 
there we go so that is what I would say that issue now done that is with DD02 that we used right so that's a spare six DD06 which is there so we will take out that one and put it in the other one but that one can go bent like I said, we should have uh, double checked and made sure I had the screws all to hand, but it is what it is, and we'll get that in there and go like that. So, what's that one? That one is 12. We don't think we've got spare 12 yet. So, that can go in there, that goes back in there, and that is it. Alright, so I reckon now we can go on to the booklet, which is there and uh, we'll have a look so here we've got the parts there so that's good so we're not missing any parts and yeah we'll have done that part with the leaf spring shock absorber covers so it wants us to attach the covers and then connect them up afterwards it looks like yeah attach the covers Hold it with a pair of tweezers. Springs upside down, put the springs in. Well, we attached the springs already. And what's that then? Oh, those are for the pins. Well, we've done the pins. There we go. So, Michael Rutter. So, what's a motorcyclist? Stable Air. Charlietti. Package a tractor. Ooh. stay by proof and then obviously the next issue is the rear air tanks so the rear uh, rear right and left air tanks rack and holder and all that oh yeah there we go so we've got some rear air tanks and uh, we'll bring the book in quickly yeah open it up those a bit hard and then we'll slide that straight in and we'll move on to a quick 60 second air break so I can get myself all ready set for the next part hopefully rabbit might double check to see if I um swan necks are in the kitchen and there we go let's quickly place them away and we should be good to go. Oh, so where is it? I'll be right back and we'll do a quick 60 second break. Three, two, one, and go. Alright, so that should be kicking in. Don't think that would be undone too bad. I don't like it just this way, just springing there. But we'll uh, move on to the next one. So, uh, let's see. That's there, we'll grab that in a minute. I think we've got them spare ones sitting there. Um, can't see any of them spare ones. And oh, we've got a spare one there, so we'll take that one. We'll put that with that one. And we'll move them to one side because we don't need them just yet. And we are good to go, so we've got them there. Those can go there. We'll adjust these pins in a little bit and then we'll move on with it to the rears, wasn't it? So let's see if I can push that through that way and we can twist it around like so. Let's apply that way. So we are almost back and we have 64 ready to go. And while it's still concentrating, so that's fine, no worries. So, yes, yeah, so welcome back again. I will just stick out the links that will help out and there's the links does that come up yeah there's links there it goes right so we'll use the links for everything else don't forget to check out the description because in the description we have people in there that we are following and watching afterwards so uh, what was it 
six three six four six five six six so i'll be watching everyone else's up to 66 once we are done so let's grab the parts out booklet can go to one side that can go for the bin and uh we'll stick that there so we'll have a good quick butchers and hopefully everything goes to plan and go from there so yes we will need to get our trusty blade out for this uh, eights, DDO fours, um, DDO eights, a DPO eight. Don't think we've got any eights, have we? That's a twelve. Four DDO four. Uh, yeah. So we can save that packet. Oh, what's that one? That is a DP08. Um, that is a 6. DP6. DP08. So, yeah, we've got them. So, we can then move on. So, we'll go ahead and grab our trusty Stay Bart's blade. So, again, be a grown up, competent person or anything along them lines so we can use them we will get just enough blade that we need to do the job and then we'll go away from our thumb towards our chum and I'll see what we'll go from there what I might do is do a little catchphrase competition and uh, we'll see what we'll do for it so let's Move that over that way a little bit more. So we'll make sure all the parts are out of the way. We'll get just enough blade to lock it off and go away from the thumb towards our chum. So just there should be good. Cut through. Just like so. And we'll put the blade away and turn up the mine for a moment. And we should be able to get all the pieces out. Should be nice and easy to put together, last word said, and see how things turn out. Everything seems to look alright, but looking is completely different from doing. Right, so we'll stick that behind us there. So it looks like that's part of the tank there, that's part of that tank there, one goes there, one goes there. Now that part's plastic. These parts are all plastic, so yes, it's all plastic. So DDO4, so that means that's going to go into a metal. So that'd be somewhere on the back there. So let's see if we can get that to match up somewhere. Right, so it looks like we've got to flick ourselves over. Yeah. So again, we'll double up our wheels. And get the balance there. As you can see, small bit out there because there's loads of weight there. Hardly nothing there, and it balances out nicely. So this now, which way around would it be? Would it be nice ticketed that way? Doesn't look like it. Or would it be that way? It sits in there nicely like that. Got to be that way then, because I can't see it being any other way. So that'll go there. One air tank will go together nicely like that. Well, we've got a bit of a bad paint job on it. So this will just clip together. There's nothing else to go on it. Which way around it? Yeah, which way around it would go? Probably uh, lines up better that way. Sort of. No, it doesn't seem to line up at all. By the way, just an absolute. No, it doesn't seem to line up at all. Ooh. I 
I'm right to double check that because that's me is missed it's molded put it that way very nicely that way but then that doesn't match up at all that way all right I don't think this has been molded properly so then that would be another issue that we've got problems with all to do with air tanks hey she's got some next we can deal with that in a moment and she's got more electrical ones hmm. all right so in that case there's that that one goes here right turn it around Let's go that way. Doesn't seem to want to bond for me, if I'm honest. Can go there? No. Doesn't seem to. I'm not going to force it, but then that looks like it goes that way. Goes there. It doesn't seem to want to go properly. Let's try this one in. Again. That looks like it sits that way. But nothing seems to be wanting to go together properly. Come on. It feels like it's not being matched up, paired up properly. Let's put one on the bottom. That goes there. It was supposed to go there. Let's go there. Doesn't seem to go in. Right. Plan B. Grab a screwdriver. Give it just where it's got that paint all over it. One not through there. There we go. Now that's gone in. So it could be just a build up of paint. Oh, that's gone straight through. That goes through there. That one goes in there. Come on, on there you go. Thank you. Yeah, the pin it isn't going in properly. All right, the pins are in there. So, DD, we don't worry about just yet. DPO3, more likely. Can I say there was um, three lots on this one? No, oh, there's only two. So, that DDO8, DDO4. Four. Let me just have a look at the back of the last one again. Balls and DPO8. So DPO8 is here. So these must go on the inside. Do I have eights? I think I've already searched for eights, didn't I? DPO8, there we go. So we can save that one. Grab our screwdriver. Oh, wrong one. I think I had the right one. That's the one we want. The pH is zero. Well, we just want two for now. 
Maybe we've got two. The third one's on the escape. So we'll do the small one first. Just in the back there. Oh, you can't really see much, can you? Cool. Why didn't someone say so? Right. So we'll put that in. There we go. Just give it a little nip up. Do the next one. Put that in there. There you go, so they're nipped up. So, up next will be this plastic one there. Now, I've got a funny feeling that bracket goes on first, and then that goes on there. Which doesn't seem to match up at all, that goes there. And yeah, so I think what we do, we'll now we've got it sussed. We'll quickly whip these off, and then we'll get them attached to the chassis first. Come on. This is all we need now. Would be stuck. Come on. Let's work it out gently. Come on, out you come. There we go. Let's that one out. And we've just got to get this one out. Oh, we've got to take screw out first. There we go. This one's going to be a nightmare to get out because there's a nightmare to get in. Let's see if we can just poke it out. It's going to come out properly. It's not coming out the way I want it to. There we go, that's out. And what we've got to do is get that attached. So there was our DDO4s, DDO4s. There we go, there's the packet we want. Open that bit by bit. And let's swing it back towards me and we'll get them in place. So we'll go. Ooh. I think it does matter which way round it goes. Um, yeah, we need to double check which way round it goes because obviously you've got a small one and you've got a big one. So, small one goes to the outside, to this side. So, small one, so I think it's that way round. Get that in there, and we just try and screw that in carefully. Come on, get it started in there. That's, that's gonna bite. Grab another one. Come on. They should supply with some sort of brackets and that to hold 
the vehicle in place when you actually do it. So actually this doesn't line up like the other one didn't. Oh, come on. Oh no, I don't think it's going to line up. Persuasion. It might actually line up. Come on, he, if it does, it's a bonus because we've had issues with the last one not lining up at all. And if we try to do modify it, it just breaks. So there we go. I do have some bits on order for this from the craft place where oh let's see if I can hold it down like that so I can put a bit of weight behind it where I'll be painting some parts shortly afterwards to what I believe should make it look okay. So let's put that in there. And that is in there. Right, so we know the small one comes this side. So get that ready. Small one. Goes there. As soon as I do that paint out, it seems to have gone in there well. There we go. Uh, is this one going to play ball? Sort of. There we go, that's it. Spin that around a little bit. Move it back that way. Right now, we put a big one on first because you've got a little valve in between. That goes there. Uh, I've got to try and line up the brackets. will be that way yeah come on oh let's get a bit more don't go that way Come on. There we go. There we go, so that's them in. And now someone said, Oh, you're supposed to put them horseshoes in the clamps. So what we do, slide it in there, no, slide it in and we'll twist it into place and then push it down. So we're gonna go like that. And then we find the actual lug set it's supposed to sit on. And push them in. There we go. 
and like that. And what I'll do, I'll drop a bit of glue on them later. Get a little spin around so I can see what I'm doing. And the same again, we'll poke it in, twist it, and then push it home. Side in. Oh, that's oh, those dogs. There we go. So that's that in. And that is in. Job done. Perfect. Woof, woof, woof. Right, uh, no, I'm not talking to you. Alright, so that's in. That's empty. That can now go in the bin. Oh. A little makeshift bin here, that do, in there, job done. Alright, so what we're doing now is spin that over and drop that down there. Yes, I know. Woof, woof, woof. Alright, drop that down like, like that, and that's starting to look really good now. Let's get that in there. Perfect. Alright, let's move that up now. Slide the screwdriver over the back there, and then what we'll do, we'll do the magazine, and then we'll do another quick 60 second ad break. So, as you can see, the different parts of the tanks, the carrier, and yeah, it's all gone in, all in, screwed in, and then we put the little lugs on, put them both on. Attach them tops. Oh, it does say you push it in and turn it around. So that's alright then. And that's what it's all like, look like at a minute. Don't rest it down like that because I, I don't want to because it's better on the wheels. Right, so training action. So it's the Starlight train system. Uh, was it? Trucks on TV 1. Oh, okay. Ones. and then obviously next one is the left and right leaf springs so we'll uh, cover them very shortly so we'll quickly bring in the binder and then uh, oh, after the next issue uh, next stream of Sobart we'll do a swan off stream where we do a catch up where we are where everything is and that'll be with an adult drink alongside so let's quickly uh, Dip that in there, drop that in there, come on, there we go, close it up, and then that'll be two binders down and dusted. So let's go ahead and do a quick 60 second ad break, uh, be right back, quick 60 second ad break and we'll move on to the next issue, 3, 2, 1 and ad break. While well, that's going, I'm going to quickly try and pop in these pins. And drop them in. Got a little more for that one. That's him. And what about this one? Almost there. Tad more. That should be. Good to go for that one. Yep. Uh, how far I get in that one? I'll work that one out some other way. Come on. And that one's done as well. One of them I've got to try and play around with, use different method but we'll get there all right so welcome back from the ad break thank you very much it's very much appreciated and we will uh, crack on with the next issue so where are we there three two one and back we come so we're now going to move on to the 
three leaf springs, which is uh, that issue there, which is issue number 65. Um, yeah, we'll dive in and have a look and see what we've got. This thing, and that. Let's get that to one side. And let's see what we've got here. We have DP12. So DP12. So we've got a DP12 over here somewhere. We had it over it. Um, Eight, six, seven, DB twelve. There's one there, so we'll use that one. Um, I think we can go ahead and go straight in with our trusty blade, and then go again a suitable grown-up, responsible adult person, competent person, and go away from a farm towards our chum. We have enough blade, and then we we'll put the blade away, and that is it. Need that bit that can go in our makeshift bin there. Dropping everything now. Makeshift bin there. Put that in there. Come on, in there we go. And good to go. Right, yeah. Perfect. Alright, so it looks like the leaf spring is going to be in two parts. We've got a bright and a dark one. Hmm. Under this light. And looks like there's a bright set and there's a dark set. But they both look bright. And smaller ones. I have. There we go. And there we go. So all we need next is some screws. Come on, there it come. One, two, three, four, five. But we obviously just need four from there. So we'll grab our big screwdriver again. There we go. I don't think we'll be able to connect them because there's no pins. So uh, yeah, so we've got the main leaf spring with additional leaf springs. They already power up. Mm -hmm. Looks like they can go both ways. But I want to see which way it looks slightly smarter. That one looks off balanced. That way it's balanced. Oh, there's some little indents. Hmm. No left and right on them. Let's see. They look identical both ways. Alright, okay. So, let's see. Let's see if I can work these out. So, this, or that. So, they feel identical. So, in that case. Through there, that looks off balance there, so that goes that way. It still looks off balance. Even that way looks off balance. Ooh. So let's have a little play here. That will sit there. That'll sit there. Let's 
So let's see which way around sits nicely. The bump stops. Gonna probably go that way. Well, I think there's gonna be little screw holes. Right, so I'm gonna put them little holes on them on the inside. So I can't see why. I think it's just the way it's molded. There we go, so we're gonna do it like that. If I have to change it around, I'll change it around. But I don't know like that. But again, they're only plastic. So let's go ahead and put in these screws in the top there. Obviously, we don't put too much pressure on them because we don't want them to snap either. Like we explained about the front ones. Put the corner out. Put that there for disposal. Go on, let's get another one out, please. And go. Now get another one in there. I think there's not really much to do with this one. Just screw them together, and that's it. But we have one more issue left, so hopefully we'll get them attached either to the chassis or what it looks like we can part the rear axle together. It's got the uh, differential in it, what it looks like. Right, so that's that one done. Now we'll go ahead and do this one now. Oh. If you attach that in there like that. And screw it in. There we go, so that's in. Needs to be tight. Or well, if you do it too tight, you strip threads that you're making it, and then that'll be no good. There we go. Two rear springs, and give a general rotation. Right. You'll see, they will sit there. Obviously, when it comes to it, we'll put a pin in there and a pin in the front or in the rear rear. Rear fronts, rear rear, and so on. So, yeah, those are the loose springs are ready to uh, rock and roll. And that is it. So, let's go ahead and grab the magazine. I don't think there is anything else we need to do, but we'll have a look. Just lift list of springs and we can go ahead all goes together quite nicely and so on screw them in and that is it so yeah that is a very very quick simple and easy one for everyone that's doing it weekly so what we've got here Norbert can't really see that one. Yeah. So here we go. So then we're we'll obviously moving on through bits and pieces. Stobart Rail Fleet. So as you talk about the trains again. And then, yep, the rear axles start to come together. The top section of the rear axle. Um, air pipe connectors. And some screws. So I don't think there's much to that one either. So again, we'll bring in the ring binder, which just means we're getting closer and closer to having this one filled. And we have a spare one behind us for when we start with issue 71, because we're going to go up to issue 70 with this binder and go from there. Hopefully we can get things kicking off quite well. Alright, so there's that one in place. 
we'll go ahead and do another 60 second ad break and see how that one breaks out so be right back and three two one and ad break crikey it's um that was a nice easy one i think that was done in like a couple of minutes not in that but there is rabbit just a couple of leaf springs screw them together that's it that's it yeah just screw that one and that one together four screws the quickest one is the tire to put the tire on but then you have to wait to for it to soften up so yeah all right so yeah one last ad break then we are doing the last issue and then i can pack it away ready for work tomorrow and then thursday i can do some more titanic and doll's house I might even be able to squeeze in the snow rock, but I'm still waiting for that email with a link so I can then use that video on the actual thing screen cards. Oh, oh, uh, we are back. So, thank you very much for the ad break, it's very much appreciated. And now it's time to move on to the last issue for tonight. You know, I've got more behind me, I don't want to move on too far. Do too many I will do like anywhere between three and five issues per string depending on what happens but yeah last issue for tonight is 66 and we'll stick that up there a minute don't think there's going to be much to this one as well that can go for the bin uh, that seems to be an open one let's go ahead and just pop it open dive on in and see what we've got going so for those that are streaming this or recording this if you're not quite or if you're the same as me ish or just ahead but you want to do a collab you're more than welcome to come join me on one or multiple issues if you want to do them in the stream you can chat about anything you like and uh, it'd be good to actually do something, work with other people. There was going to be some with others, but um, one person decides they no longer want any assistance or any help and they just want to do it themselves. So that's fine by me. Organised it all, had everything set up, and then they decide to say no. And then they start calling me out being fake and everything else so that's down soon but I'm okay with it oh it's disappointing that is actually plastic very disappointing so that is part of the rear axle and differential I've got a funny thing that's going what was it um yeah that's the top section so you might be able to screw some of it together all depends so that would be sitting somewhere down there because we've got that there to join so yeah I don't think that's going to be attached just yet um, it looks like they will go on there on there and one there they're going to get screwed together so it'd be one of these plastic ones. What's that one? That is DP, so that's plastic. And that is uh, DP as well, plastic. But those are smaller. There's two there. And three there. So that would be probably used for that. That is going to be used for these parts here. So DP07. Perfect for two there. I'll put the three up there. And uh, we'll grab our screwdriver, grab these, and we'll just screw one at a time together. That seems to be holding quite well. Right. We'll just gently screw it in place. And there we go. That's one. And where's the other one? 
and if he comes here, boom, boom. Oh, oh. I've got a feeling the cab's going to be firstly all done, other than one little silly thing, and then we'll be starting the trailer. I mean, once the trailer's finished, we'll then have that last little silly thing for the cab. Right, so that's that, that's that. So that's them together. Not too bad, not too shabby. And that can go for bin. It's just this valve. I don't know where that will go just yet. So I might have to bite the bullet and go for it. So that's nice and shiny. That's all dull. That side's dull. That's dull. But it's because of this light. I'm going to double check it all in the daytime. And see how things turn out. I might have to adjust it a little bit. But we'll soon sort that out. But yeah that will see it down the back there. So we've always got a yoke to fit. Um, so with that screw. Right, so this must sit on the bottom there because we've got like a little keyway. It sits on there and it gets screwed in from the inside. Right, okay. Um, let's try and break into this. I don't want to get the knife out. There we go. So break into that. Pull it open and we'll grab the air valves. So then that obviously sits it looks like it's universal. It goes both ways. So that sits in the top there. So then we'll turn that over and then it gets screwed in the bottom there. So that's DP08. Do we have an 08 open? We do. DP08 there, DP08 there, and another six. DD DP08, so it's be that one there then. So we just take one of them out, save that packet, and uh, we'll hope and pray for the little um, pack to come through. Oh. Like this, gently hold it gently, and we'll just screw it in the bottom there. Ooh. Get that in there, nice. Oh, it's push its way out, try and push it back in, come on in, we need to try and work it, okay it's going, I'm just trying to fold that again, and screw that in there, don't go too tight, It's all right. There you go. So that is now on there. Job done. And that is it. Another quick, easy, simple one. Job done. Ready to go. And uh, we'll have a look at the packet of the booklet now. And we should be wrapping it up. Oh. All right. So this bit screwdriver over there. I want to rest that upside down on there because obviously. We'll probably be working on the rest of that next. So let's make a bit of space so we can see the booklet in there. Move that up there. There we go. Push it over a bit more. Drop it done. Ooh. All right. So why did it say I'm a subscriber? Huh. All right. Okay. So issue uh, 66. We have two pieces obviously they get linked up with so yeah they go in screwed in then we put the leaf springs on and that's it so what's this a flat racing oh they stay bar across the bottoms that's sitting on someone all right on that note we'll move on uh, William Hills, yes, um, they've been all over the news today. Uh, big fines for stuff. I'm not going to go into too much details about it because it's not my area, but go check it out if you wish. Uh, trucks on TV too. I thought they'd done trucks on TV. And 
then we have obviously the yoke uh, drive shaft that goes straight across fixed shafts so then that goes on there so that goes there so it looks like they will turn but then there was like that notching going on and then obviously you've got the ring there that goes over there that holds it all together that's what machine that is uh, cogs axle differential and anchoring shafts so yeah so coming to my little bit so we've got that little cog on the shaft on the axle shaft which looks like we're sitting there got a couple of screws then we'll screw there and there together um, that piece would like like sits in there that will slide in the end there and sit there and then we'll get a pin to put in there of the top shaft which is sitting down there and then we'll just pin them together but then obviously that ring sits on there that is what I'm assuming and we'll go from there so that is number 66 all done and dusted so if you haven't yet take the time to have a look in the description of the video you'll find all my social media links that you can contact me on there's also a little store link in there for the Fiverr group there are also links to other people that are doing this build as well so you do go over to them click the subscribe button to them be one of their subscribers or follower go to the most latest video and say hi spoon centers sharing the love hopefully uh, they'll get some new followers and subscribers and we can then obviously do some more on top of that we've now done 66 so I'll watch up to Stobart 66 of their ones and then we'll uh, see where we've gone wrong or they've gone wrong or anything like that there is obviously some bits and pieces we're going to sort out um, I'm going to paint some of the engine up later once we've got this part finished with I'm just going to go in and start touching it all up might take some bits off to do it because you can't do it on the live stream because it just takes too long you're waiting for everything to dry and things like that so I'll, I'll go around touching all these up cause I want to change like the old cap there black I want to do these pipe work black a pulling fan uh, a yellow or an orange the radiator I want to put black um, the fuel pipes I want to like, do them silver and just some various other bits and pieces there's some of the working parts down here I'll just put a little bit of details on and that and obviously you've got some silver screw heads I'm just going to paint red sort of thing and so on I just want to change a few bits of pieces around so we are good to go and it's not all going to be like standard uh, it's the same with the Titanic once I get so much done I will then go around and do some of my own little details to it and see how it all forms out but if you want and you think you've got a mod that you want me to put on you're more welcome to send it to me and I'll add it on when it comes to it I think there may be a chance to get a spare wheel around here but then I just need to grab another wheel and find some sort of bracket to put on to attach it if we haven't got one already in the pipe work for it but yeah this will obviously sit underneath I'll just place it in roughly in there. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'll just slide that in there. So that's where it's just going to sit, just like that. So we've got some sort of idea, and obviously the rear wheels will sit here. We know where the front wheels sit, so obviously we've got that. I thought we had steering as well, and this that's later on, because obviously is the whole front end's all wibbly wobbly. So we will now go to ending soon. We've had the links. I've gone through the links. It's all in the description. 
don't forget to be one of our followers and subscribers as soon as, as soon as we hit 200 followers on twitch we'll spin the wheel you'll win a gift card and a box of goodies we obviously uh, appreciate everyone that leaves a thumbs up on the videos don't forget to click on the notification bell to get notified every time a video is up on YouTube or maybe a live stream because I'm still working on that we've done the like don't forget to share subscribe follow thumbs up I'll leave a comment comments always appreciated and I will always do my best to reply back to most relevant comments if it's people that says first second third or whatever knock yourselves out you may or may not get a reply on them but obviously if you have any questions hit us up on the social medias or in just leave a comment in the video itself and we'll get back to you as soon as we can so thank you very much for coming along it has been great and i'll see you on the next stobar very very soon but at the minute it will be going back to titanic and doll's house try and get some more of them done and then we'll do another stream like this and we'll also bring out our sponsored stream from one of our followers and subscribers they have paid for some issues and they are sending them to us so thank you very much there for that and um, oh i've got to go to the kids school and start doing some doll's house soon try and catch up with them i've got four four there to do one two yeah four doll's houses there to do so yeah but yeah thank you very much for coming along and i'll see you again soon bye for now come on and leave.